Hello and welcome to Run Testers. My name's Nick and I am in Brentwood in Essex for the Brentwood Half Marathon this morning. Lovely little town out in Essex for a really nice little event. That's half closed roads, half not closed roads. It's pretty breezy, you might be able to tell that now. That might affect things on the course a little bit. I think we'll have crosswinds mainly, but it's a, a quite hilly course, so should be good fun, rolling over some bumps, testing the legs and testing the Essex Metaspeed Sky Paris. This is my new favourite com racing shoe, the shoe I plan to use for London. I want to get a really hard race in it today, you know, going all out today, try and get a decent time or a decent place, depending on how the conditions actually play out. Okay, so we start off a nice big downhill, we've got a few lumps and bumps along the way and then an uphill to finish and yeah, don't really know what the field will be like today. It's one of those kind of events you turn up and see and they've already run someone very quick, so I'm going to stick to him for a little bit, but probably not for too long. But good chance to test the shoes and in general just test out my racing legs uh, with London in mind in a few weeks. I'm all done, just on the cool down now. I had a great day out there, ran 70-30, bang on. Um, really pleased with that, it was a breezy course, running solo most of the way, everyone was kind of running solo and big old hill in the last mile that um, I knew was coming. So I knew I was on pace for about, for a sub 70 at like 10 miles about, and then 11 miles, but I knew uh, I was gonna be dropping off that quite a lot. So kicked it in, really nice time, really ran really well and the shoes were, yeah, fantastic. I've been loving these shoes from the moment we started testing them. I think they're absolutely amazing. I feel like I'm gonna use them at London. And what I really got today from them was that kind of locked in cruisy speed on the rare kind of flat sections where I was just running smoothly that felt very in control, very what I get from like the Alpha and the Bay Flyer times. You can lock into a speed really well, but then what these shoes have is that lightness so you can then punch up a hill, well, to the extent, not, not in the last one, I wasn't really punching up that at all, but on any hill you can, you can move a bit faster, you can accelerate. If you're gonna race someone, you can put on a little spurt to try and gap them. And it's just got all that lightness and really nice turnover. And they've got a lot of bounce. So on the downhills early on, just booming along. So yeah, more or less perfect. Loving the shoes so far, definitely gonna use them again. The stuff testing today uh, was the Apple Watch Ultra 2 versus the Garmin Epix Pro, which I'm using for the whole of marathon training for a long extended versus. Both brilliant, splitting bang on within seconds of each other. You know, GPS and country lanes is pretty easy and they were both excelled on that front so uh yeah no concerns at all about the watches yes yeah, so all this gear is going to kind of turn out again in uh, in london and it was all really good today but i will have a little bit more to think and check in more about the metasby sky later but what i'm going to do quickly now is is calling my friend jack who ran in the vayfly 3 which we haven't talked about a lot on the channel lately and i want jack to give a quick review of the vayfly 3 over half marathon here he is hi uh, <laughs> yeah so vayfly 3 is what i ran valencia in last year yeah um, I still think it's the best shoe for me out there. <laughs> I'm not terribly fit at the moment, but really worked today. 73.30, I'm not very terribly fit. 72.30. 30. sorry, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> which, uh, considering my current form, I'm really happy with, and uh, yeah. Don't forget the like Vapefly. I actually think the uh, Asics Metasby Sky Paris has a lot of Vapefly characteristics, and if you're someone who is in this, the Vapefly 3 isn't aggressive enough camp, which we don't agree with, us do, but uh, if you are in that camp, you might find the Metasby Sky Paris actually is very similar to the Vapefly, but maybe has that, that more mythical aggression that people are after, it is slightly firmer under the form potentially, but also, yeah, got to get them out on the Vayfly again because it's a shoe I've kind of forgotten about all the new releases this year. Jack of the Storm in it. Anyway, <laughs> we're gonna finish off with a little more jogging and I'll have a, probably a bit more to say about the Metaspeed to Sky later when I'm home. So it's the evening of the race now. I want to do a few more thoughts on the event itself and indeed the shoe, but on the event, it was really good, very well organized, really well marshaled. It's a not entirely closed road event out in Essex on country lanes, but for most of the time I was running on the road, no problems at all. There are a few sections yet to go on the pavement, but not very many at all and really clearly and well marshaled. Very strong field today. I was sixth today and there were some really quick times up top. So yeah, that was great. Didn't necessarily manage to result in lots of groups because I was a bit off the front groups. I was running by myself a fair bit, but there were some really fast people out there you know, proving that you can run good times. And what was a pretty hilly course overall, I think we had about 150 meters of elevation in total with that big hill to finish, obviously, got the corresponding big hill down at the start which was obviously great at the early on in the race but yeah big hill to finish is always tough i was i was only actually seven seconds off a of pb in the end and that's a much better run than i've done for my two faster half marathon so my pb is at edinburgh half which is a big downhill and you don't really have to come back up so it's a bit of a cheeky one and then i've gone two seconds slower than that at the big half in london which is that was a good time that was a 70 25 so 70 30 today on a hilly course in good shape big confidence boost ahead of the london marathon in in a month's time i feel like i'm probably in the best shape ever Just 
just got to carry that through now to race day. So it was a pretty interesting course to try and pace, obviously, because it wasn't just like those big hills. It was really up and down pretty much throughout the course. So you're running to field the entire time and then you know, seeing what pace gets spat out on the. I was doing 2K splits. I'm going to run 2K splits in London. So the idea being that I basically aim to run, I think, basically just under seven minutes for every 2K. And today I was trying to run under 640, but obviously it was very up and down with the hills, trying to hold it together on the uphills and make hay when there was the odd downhill, really big downhill after the eighth mile, which kind of really G'd me up again because it'd been a fairly long slog up to the eighth mile marker and um, then going down again just gave me the pick me up needed to kind of get through towards the final UK knowing it was a big hill to come so even though I was on a pretty good pace I knew I was going to lose a bit in the end but I felt overall I judged it quite well the pace was quite consistent given the terrain so coming on to the Met Speed Sky Paris I really was so impressed by it today it really feels like it does have it all that kind of perfect package of lightness but bounce and like I said in the straight after the race what really felt good was how controlled it felt like just ticking over at those kind of paces that you want to hold for long distances so perfect for a marathon shoe which obviously I really look for which I've always really found with the Alpha Fly in particular it just helps you get into rhythm and just hold that and today wasn't really a rhythm race it was very up and down and that kind of thing which the shoe really excels at because it's so light but actually when there was those times to put into a good rhythm it felt very good in the shoe and actually even though I was running hard and I know I'm in good shape generally when the pace came up for my like 2k splits when I glanced down I was a little bit surprised that I was running a bit quicker probably than I thought I was and throughout the race that's a really good sign like even churning up that last hill obviously I wasn't looking at the time at all at that point I was just trying to get through the last hill and then came down and I was surprised to turn a corner and see that I was going to be finishing you know, in 70 something and 70 30 obviously was a pretty good time for me so yeah shoe definitely delivers in terms of performance but also just feel like really comfortable throughout the run today no forfeit discomfort at all which I sometimes can get when running hard over that kind of distance just yeah comfortable springy propulsive another big tick in the Atterspeed Messi Sky Paris box every run I've done in it I've really enjoyed Enjoyed. I've also actually been quite impressed by the durability so far because I've now done 125k in the shoe. The only real sign of any kind of wear and tear is actually on the uh, yellow section on the other shoe actually. I oh, know it's here as well, yeah. Just, the inside section of the yellow just flaking up a bit. Obviously that's entirely cosmetic, not something I'm worried about at all. And actually a problem that we've had with previous versions of the Metaspeed is that the heel doesn't extend all the way back. So I can rough it up a little bit at the back there as a heel striker. So haven't really got any signs of that on my right foot. I'm probably land heel to mid foot on my right side. Left side I'm a heel striker. You can see this, it, this is my left shoe. You can see I have you know, scuffed up a little bit and I imagine that will start to wear a bit more at the back there but it's not been as noticeable as it was with the earlier meta speeds same time even when I did rough those up quite a lot it didn't affect performance in any way but it's something to look out for because obviously the rubber does stop just short of the back of the shoe there and then yeah go through the other stuff I tested so like I said I had the Apple Watch Ultra 2, Garmin Epix Pro on my wrist. The Apple Watch ended up reading like, you know, 100 meters longer, but I just had a look at the GPS trace. It really is very close. And which of those is more accurate? You know, because the Garmin had the distance more or less perfect for a half marathon, but actually you probably don't run the perfect distance on a half marathon like that on country lanes. So maybe the Apple is more accurate, but really they're both very accurate. Were really helpful if I was going to use it for pacing today, which I didn't really that much, but you certainly got decent pace splits every time to know roughly what you were losing on the uphills, gaining on the downhills. So yeah, all really good on that front. The Polar H10 heart rate monitor I was using had a little moment on the run. It just dropped very for a very short period. I think it was about the 19th or 20th K when I was actually working the hardest I've been the whole race and it dropped down very low but that came back up nothing to worry about there otherwise yeah the gear was all good had glasses on seal hat yeah in general everything performed as hoped and yeah really good day out and met speed sky paris brilliant shoe really good event the Brentwood half marathon really fun event out in uh, Essex so one to look out for next year